today I'm going to show you how to take your hank of yarn and turn it into a center pull little cake. So I'm glad you're here with me today. I'm Carolyn from the Purple Poncho. I have a hank of Sheepy's Skies. Beautiful yarn. So what you do is take off the label and then kind of un untie it. Okay, you just kind of let it naturally come apart. And then find the areas that are tied together. And you can see how it's woven through and then they're tied. So what you want to do is find the find the area that has a little knot and we're going to cut that. And then you're just going to pull it out. There should be three of them in your hank. This looks like it's the beginning of the yarn here. So I'm going to cut that one. And then here's the end. Well, either way, beginning or the end. So here are my two ends for my yarn that's going to continuously go around and round. Here's the other tail. Cut that one. I'll just show you how I do it. And if you have another way, please please let me know in the comments or send me an email. So I'm just going to un unravel a few yards of a yarn to begin. So what I do, I'm going to use my thumb and I'm going to hold kind of a long tail inside my fingers and then I'm just going to be wrapping it around my thumb. Just like that. And keep turning your, your yarn as you're going and just form it into a cake. And then when you get to where you need some more yarn, just gently and carefully get some more yardage and continue wrapping. This is also a good way to see the yarn before you actually work with it. So if you come across any big knots or areas in the yarn that you're not pleased with, you can always fix it before you start working with it. I haven't really come across that, but this does let you see all the yarn before, before you're working with it. So you can see my thumb is disappearing in the middle. Barely peeking out there at the bottom. I'm going to take my thumb out. Careful not to bring too much yarn with you. Okay. I'm 
I'm still holding this beginning tail in my hand. Oops. Okay. So once you finish winding up all of the yarn, what I like to do is take the yarn label, fold it up a few times, make it kind of small, as small as you can get it, and then I take my beginning center pull tail and I just wrap it around a few times, quite a few times, and then just stick it right in the middle. That way you have your yarn label and you have your beginning uh, end to start your work, either crocheting or knitting or whatever you're going to use it for. So if you're going to use the yarn around your knees, like so, then you just take a little bit off and keep winding. Making sure that it stays on your knees and you keep it separated. And you just continue this until you have all the yarn wound up on your little cake. And now, just wrap this underneath a couple of strands a few times. Come undone. And that's ready to work with. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a center pull uh, little cake of yarn from a hank just by using your hands and your knees. Or you can lay it on the ground and like I showed you earlier. So those are the two ways that I like to do it. My favorite way is around my knees. So thank you for crafting with me today, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.